Minnie and Me, Where's Fifi, by Lynn Calder. As Minnie was walking her dog one day, she saw a sign that said, Dog Show, Prizes, this Saturday at noon in the schoolyard. Fifi, you're the best dog in the whole world, said Minnie. You'll win a prize for sure. Minnie and Fifi went straight home to practice for the dog show. Fifi, sit, said Minnie. Fifi sat. Good girl, said Minnie. Give me your paw. Fifi held up her paw. Good girl, said Minnie. Now roll over. Woof, Fifi barked and said. No, no, said Minnie. You're supposed to bark when I say speak. When Fifi heard the word speak, she rolled over. Uh-oh, said Minnie. The show is only two days away. We've got work to do. On the day of the dog show, Minnie spent the morning giving Fifi a bath and a brushing. Then they started out for the show with lots of time to spare. Woof, woof. Suddenly, Fifi was barking at a squirrel. She pulled the leash, but Minnie had on tight. Fifi squirmed and pulled until she finally slipped out of her collar and ran after the squirrel. The squirrel disappeared around the corner, and so did Fifi. Minnie was left with nothing but an empty collar and a leash. Fifi, come back, cried Minnie. Stop. Minnie raced after Fifi. She turned the corner to follow her, but Fifi was nowhere in sight. Minnie searched and searched. Finally, she gave up and went home. She called her friends Daisy and Penny and told them what had happened. They promised to come right over. When Daisy and Penny arrived, they found Minnie crying. And Fifi looked so pretty in her white bow, too, she wept. Don't worry, Minnie said Penny. We'll find Fifi. That's right, said Daisy. Let's get busy. Daisy called the town animal shelter. I want to report a missing dog, she said. Her name is Fifi. When she disappeared, she was very clean and she was wearing a white bow. Then Daisy gave Minnie's phone number to the people at the shelter in case they found Fifi. Penny made lots of signs that said, Missing, brown, black, and white dog, wearing white bow, answers to the name Fifi. If found, please call 555-5736. Minnie and her friends posted the signs all over the neighborhood. When they were finished, Daisy said, Now let's go back to your house. Maybe someone is trying to call about Fifi. Thank you both for helping me, said Minnie. We love Fifi, too, said Penny. At Minnie's house, they sat in a circle staring at the telephone. The only sound in the room was the ticking of a clock. When the clock struck 12, Minnie said, Poor Fifi, she said. I hope she's all right. At one o'clock, Daisy had an idea. I saw a report on television once about a missing dog, she said. Maybe we should turn on the TV. Okay, said Minnie. Let's try it. She turned on the TV and found a news program. Did you hear that? Said Minnie suddenly. He's talking about the dog show. There are five winners in the canine contest today, said the announcer. One of the winning pooches seemed to have entered the contest all by herself. A picture flashed on the screen. It's Fifi, it's Fifi, cried Minnie. She grabbed Fifi's leash and raced out the door, with Penny and Daisy right behind. They headed for the schoolyard where the dog show was finishing up. Woof, woof. Fifi barked when she saw Minnie coming to her. Oh, Fifi, I was worried sick about you, said Minnie. How did you get here, and how did you win a blue ribbon? One of the judges explained. Your dog has arrived just as we began the judging, he said. 
Every time someone said, sit, your dog sat. Every time someone said, give me your paw, your dog did it. She was so well behaved that we gave her a ribbon. That's wonderful, said Minnie. Minnie and her friends were very happy to have Fifi back. I'm sure of one thing, said Minnie. I'm sure none of the judges told Fifi to roll over. Oof, barked Fifi. Because she would have barked instead, said Minnie. The three friends laughed and headed home with Minnie's prize-winning dog.